A young female attorney is the newest member of the Dallas County Hospital Board of Managers. One week after a contingent of ladies came to the Dallas County Commissioners asking that they appoint a woman to the board, they chose Mary Milford. She's 26 years old and a practicing attorney in Dallas, certainly the youngest member of the current board and possibly the youngest member ever to serve on the board. Her acceptance by the court came unanimously. Her nomination was made by Commissioner Mel Price. Well, I suppose, uh, Theolus, we can uh, give you and the other members of the news media much of the credit because our phones and, uh, and mail became quite heavy after the publicity of uh, the appearance of the group here uh, in the commissioner's court meeting last week. And uh, my phone rang all weekend, and uh, as I'm sure many others did, we received many names that uh, were uh, qualified people and uh, others volunteering themselves to serve and this sort of thing. Uh, Mary Milford uh, was not one of these. Her, her strengths came from other people, from other sources. Uh, part of the reason, I think, because there had not been uh, a, a member of the hospital board from the general geographic area of White Rock, Castle Linda, Castle View, uh, the, that whole quadrant of the county, the district that I represent. And there had been uh, an effort made by several of the civic groups in past years to try to get someone from that area. So. This, in effect, serves two purposes with a very fine and qualified person. Although the women's group that appeared before the commissioners last week did offer a candidate of their own, their prime purpose was to get a woman appointed to the board. The term which Mary Milford fills brings the board to its full complement of seven. Also today, the commissioners called a public hearing on their budget, the hearing to be January 29th at 10 a.m. This is Teal Salon at the Dallas County Commissioner's Court. My experiences in Washington as General Counsel of the Department of Treasury have further convinced me that our problems can be solved and that the power of the people working together can make great progress. For me to fail to respond to the situation which now exists in Texas would be inconsistent with that conviction. The personnel for the Cowboys is there. I mean, I'd have to say that they, they are one of the top five teams in the country. I think they are personnel-wise. Um, I thought maybe Starbuck should have been played in the second period of the Cleveland game. With the muddy field, uh, the field was bad at the time. He, Morton wasn't moving the team. Starbuck maybe could have created some excitement and given them some sort of chance. Uh, I know Starbucks a couple of years from being a quarterback yet, but, but he might have created something uh, and brought him back. Actually, he did bring him back, if you remember, against the Jets down 9 to nothing in the exhibition game. And he does create some kind of excitement. Morton looked like he was sort of, he just wasn't sure of himself that day. If you watched him going into the huddle, I mean, he was thinking much more than what I thought he should have been. He had his problems. I mean, Dallas seems to have their problems with Cleveland anyway. I mean, I don't know whether it's Landry and Collier. Uh, Collier out coaching Landry. I, I don't know. I mean, Landry is noted for being a good coach, too. I, just, I do rate Collier as a, as a good coach also. There's something. Uh, he's got something on him that's facing it, whether he can get psyched out of it or what, but I make, but I make Dallas a favorite every time they play Cleveland, I'll admit that. I mean, I, we got a surprise two years running in the Super Bowl, too. How do you look at next year's American Conference? Well, actually, really, the, 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 last year it was definitely a surprise. I mean, there isn't any question about that. This year, it really wasn't such a surprise. 